Hey, you. Yeah, you. Has this ever happened to you? You're trying to wash your hands, you test the water temperature, it's fine. So you suds up and go about your business. But you got an old faucet and you didn't leave the handle in the perfectly right position, so it's slowly growing scaldingly hot. Now you're scrubbed up and ready to rinse, but oh, you know, that's not gonna work, idiot. What are you gonna do? Try and adjust the faucet with your slippery, soapy hands? What other, what is your other option? Leave? No! You call me. I'll come help adjust your faucet. Seriously. You call, I pick up, I'm in my car, on the way. I'm already there, I'm at your door. Hey, it's, it's me. You call me to adjust your, your faucet. And the door's locked. You gotta, you gotta open the door. I'm, he, I'm here to adjust your faucet. Okay. Now just come on. I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Just get, come over here and unlock this door. Unlock the chain. Come on. Come on. I'm here to, I'm here to adjust your faucet. Come on. Just let me in now. Come on, buddy. You gotta, you gotta let me. You gotta let me in. You gotta let me in this door. You gotta let me in this. Let me in this door. Please. Call me. Are you drinking on land? Or are you drinking on a boat? Land drinkers don't understand, but you do. Spiked seltzer. It's for boats. The only alcoholic beverage made exclusively for boating. And only boating. It's not for the park. Don't take it there. It's not for a backyard barbecue. It's just for boats. Don't drink it at your cousin's baby shower. Unless it's on a boat. Nothing's more nautical than alcoholic seltzer. You can drink spike seltzer anywhere. On deck, below deck, port, starboard. As long as it's on a boat. Can I take it on my canoe? No, not that kind of boat. Can I drink it on Godzilla? No, not that kind of boat either. Can I drink it on my yacht off the coast of Santorini? That's exactly the kind of boat. Spiked seltzer, it's for boats. <laughs>